Hello everybody and welcome to Isaac. Today we are going to be doing a little sort of challenge run where we smell all the trinkets. This is going to be a no item room run. We are just going to be going off of the back of trinkets, which is why we've got so much to start here. We're going to be using amalgamation as our method of smelting. This is going to be our way of smelting most of our trinkets. Uh, we're also going to be using Mum's box for generating trinkets, as well as having the smelter, which... I honestly won't be using much. I want to use amalgamation as my main method of smelting. This is mainly just for the increased spawn rate of trinkets. We've also got ourselves um, Mum's Purse here so we can hold two trinkets at least. Uh, we've got marbles as an additional way of smelting on top of our amalgamation. And then we're starting off with two toy boxes which will allow us to um, smelt four trinkets each onto us completely random. Just to give us a bit of starting power considering we're not taking item room. So let's see what we end up getting here. Pretty decent off the bat there. Nothing too difficult. And decent there as well. Okay, not too bad. I'm not quite sure why there's a laser just shooting off in a random direction here. Uh, but now with amalgamation, we can check what we end up smelting. So what we got here? Um, tinted rocks. So we'll see if picking that up smelts it. It did not. Um, hopefully this does. Yeah, we smelted that. Are we going to smelt whipworm? We didn't smelt whipworm. And cheese. Are we going to smelt cheese? No, we're not. How about duct tape? Are we going to smelt duct tape? We did, okay. So we got to decide what we want. I think I'm going to go with cheese plus the clairvoyance, and then obviously we'll grab this back so that we get double effect from some of these trinkets. Um, and this little ghosty boy um, is is our little friend. He's our little pal. Um, I didn't realize he'd shoot. I thought he was the one that traded a devil deal. Oh, there's multiple of them? I don't know what this is. I don't think I've seen this before, but they're, they're firing on occasion. I cannot, uh, cannot say that's a bad thing. Hey, there's another gulp already, baby. So we are going to have some uh, things that we can't gulp. But as I said here, we're not going to be taking um, item room items. So dry baby, you are not for us. But I did check in here for anything else. And we did find something that I really like, actually. So let's see if we can smell it. We did smell it. Beautiful. That's the one that gives us, I think, further range on seeing the map. Which is like Spelunker's uh, hat, which I really, really like. So there you go, yeah, we get a bit more range to see what's going on. And, yeah, so I've given myself a few things here just to sort of make the run a little easier on the first few floors. Because otherwise, we'd have no items. And if we didn't get trinkets that gave us stats, we'd run into some issues. So I thought we'd give ourselves something to bolster ourselves a little bit to begin with. And we'll just kind of see how it goes, really. Um, We got ourselves... Grants an aura that slows and reflects projectiles for 100 seconds. I mean, that seems decent to start with, doesn't it? we got two of them off the back of that Tinted Rock as well, which we quite like indeed. And we've got Freezing Shots in there. I think we've got Charming Shots from the Cheese as well. We're immune to Spikes. We've got some good stuff going on to begin with here. And we've got this little laser that's perking out in random directions. It's not super usable, to be honest, but uh, it's there. It's doing its thing. And we get... Can never fall below six cents. Seems interesting. And it did smell lovely. Beautiful stuff. 50% chance to smell is pretty good. And remember as well, we do have marbles. So even the stuff we can't smell, we do have the chance to smell it on hit. But this is the reason I'm not using the smelter item as an actual smelter. Because I just think it would be quite strong to do that. But no items for us. We'll be moving down to the next floor. And seeing what we can make work with this. Ooh. Hello? What was that about? <laughs> I don't know what that was for. But I accept it. Oh my god. So yeah, we should see on occasion, especially if we increase our luck, room drops giving us um, giving us trinkets, which would be rather, rather nice. And obviously there's a few sp specific trinkets that we're looking for that'd be really good. Anything that modifies our stats, especially like damage or fire rate, you know who you are, are going to be really, really good. As for uh, my question of the day today, another Isaac related one. What's your favorite boss in Isaac Vanilla and Isaac Modded? Uh, we'll pop that again. 120 damage. Lovely. We did not smelt that. I think I'm going to leave the clairvoyance though and take this with me. Again, I'm checking in here just in case. We do have the mirror. The mirror is actually pretty interesting because the the mirror tr trinket that we have increases the chance for reflected items. But if you find a reflected trinket, reflected trinkets always split into a golden one. And I believe if you have a golden trinket plus mum's box, it, it can actually triple the effect. So it, with with some with some certain trinkets, that could be very 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 strong. And, and the thing is, we've got a decent chance at getting reflected trinket drops because we've got uh, the smelter giving us more uh, drops. So that should be pretty good. Bad foot here, no smell on that. 
Um, oh, there you go. Again, one third chance on entering a new floor to gain one rotten heart. I think I'm going to stick with that, to be honest. Eve's bird foot. It's fine. It's not amazing. It's probably better than the um, thingy, though. It's probably better than missing page, to be honest. Missing page isn't going to do too much for us. Oh, I used the smelter by accident. My bad. I just saw it there and used it. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit myself two, three times. And just let's just pretend. Let's just pretend that um, we activated marbles. <laughs> I think that's fair, right? I think that's fair. Okay, try not to swap between those and try to accidentally activate. We need to try and get our laser in place because the laser actually does really good damage. You can see we're doing we're doing pretty well already here. Do, I didn't realize that was a thingy there. We've got a mini boss down that way. We should go and check it out. And we're, we're, realistically, we want to be clearing more rooms anyways because the more rooms we clear, the more chances we've got at um, getting trinket drops in rooms. So I think it's worthwhile. Unfortunately, no shops are going to hold trinkets. It, it would be nice to see um, uh, another trinket, another item that makes them spawn in there. I think there might be in one mod pack, but... I don't know of it. And I'm sure there is some other trinket-based items in other mods that I'm not sort of thinking about. Um, that I could be using. But this is kind of just what I had thoughts of off the bat. A lot and a lot of vanilla stuff in here. But Amalgamation is really sort of the kicker to make it a lot more fun. Because um, I think Amalgamation does also increase the chance for trinket drops too. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of that. Wow, this guy has been tricky right now. Yeah, we got him. And we get ourselves chalk. See if chalk smelts. It didn't, but we can hold it at least. Okay. Keep it going. And the fact that we've got Liberty Cap does mean we're getting some extra stats here. So, we get this chalk. And this chalk, what does this chalk do? Is this the one that slows enemies or something? I can't remember exactly. Let's try and figure out on these guys. Yeah, it significantly slows them down. And it said the chalk lasts for 20 seconds, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got this other spirit of clairvoyance along with us here. So we'll see if we can get something working with that on the next floor. Don't have any specific use cases for it, really. We'll just kind of see. Oh. Lots of reflected stuff dropping. You can see that the reflection trinket is pretty strong. Um, do you know what? Let's go down this way. We can up our reflection chance even more by bombing the mirror. So I think we should do that. Uh, let's do this and we'll, we'll, we'll pop our spirit of clairvoyance as soon as we get down to the next floor. seems reasonably useful. Oh, wait. It only lasts for the room that you're in. I thought it was just like 120 seconds. That sort of is what it is, but it seems to be just for the room, which, my mistake. Ooh, I'm glad I got Eve's bird foot because it's working with uh, extension cord in a pretty nice way. Good, good. I like that. I like that a lot. Beautiful stuff. We got another trinket. There's what we're looking for, baby. Golden Curved Horn, giving us plus six damage. Normally plus two, doubled to plus four, tripled to plus six. That's what we're looking for. That's the sort of craziness that can happen on a run like this. I mean, we got it earlier than I expected. I was not expecting to see Cancer or, um, or Curved Horn for a little while, but... We got lucky, baby. We got lucky. So now we've at least got some damage stat carrying us. This doesn't obviously guarantee a win. This is still a potentially hard run. But the fact that we got a curved horn and it was golden is pretty amazing. Plus six damage is the most damage we're going to get off of any trinket we can find. Um, I think there is one trinket that doubles your damage, but doubles the damage you take. So technically that could be better. Let's have a look here. If you have a baby familiar, when you die, remove him and revive yourself. Sacrifice familiars will flash periodically when you have one heart left. Destroys itself on triggering and leaves behind an eternal heart. 50% chance to not be destroyed on triggering. Nice. No smelting of it, but I think we do technically have familiars, so I think this is potentially a good way to save our life if um, things go not quite our way, so I like having it quite a lot. I see you in there, Bucket Boy. Another reflected item there. So I said, we're going to see a lot of those. We're going to see a lot and a lot of those. Right, we'll go back and quickly destroy our mirror. The, 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 uh, the electricity seems to be hitting areas in the room that it clearly shouldn't be. 
I do like having Liberty Cap here for the random stats each room. Seemingly getting some good stuff on occasion. Right, so we're coming here. And we... Oh, wait. We're going to have to use two bombs to get through to this. That's a little bit rude. There you go. So destroying the mirror there increases your reflected, your your chance for items to be reflected. It's a mechanic that I don't take advantage of enough. Because reflected items are a bit of interesting risk-reward that I quite like. So I should be doing it far more often than I actually do. Um... But with the reflected trinket, we should have a roughly 30% chance for anything to be reflected. Maybe even higher than that, which is pretty insane, to be honest. Pretty insane indeed. This guy's going to be a little tricky if he does his jumping, but I think the chalk is actually going to hold him back. And considering it lasts for 20 seconds... Okay, no, it, it did not hold him back, but luckily I was in the right position to be able to get away from that. Wow, we got some good stuff here, but sadly, sadly, nothing we can take. It is a shame. It's truly a shame. Um, I'm going to bomb this guy, because why not? I want uh, an extra trinket, so why not do a room clear to get an extra trinket? I love the re-sprite for the angels here. They look so good. How did we ever play the game without the uh, telegraph beams, by the way? God damn, they're so necessary, especially on the angels. The angels are just BS in vanilla. <laughs> So we can take this, of course, and we get ourselves this. Uh, using coin bomb or key on a slot has a 30% chance to not subtract it from your inventory. Decent. See if it smells. It did smell. Lovely. Good stuff. Unfortunately, once an item doesn't smell, there's no way to then get it to smell. Um, obviously, we do have marbles, so getting hit does give us that chance. I mean, one thing that would be really, really good, actually, is there's a there's a trinket that makes it so when you pick up pennies, it has a chance to trigger on damage effect. Now, that would be very useful for a way to trigger marbles without actually taking any damage. That would be pretty nice. But obviously, the chance of getting a trinket you specifically want is pretty rare. And I think we've already kind of hit the jackpot with, with good old golden curved horn. Ooh, very good trinket here. Damn. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the chalk. Wait, no. I always do this wrong. There you go. Um, so this trinket, let's just drop it and take a look at it. 25% chance to turn blue flies into locusts of war. Um, I think that potentially... Actually, to be fair, it might not be as good as the chalk. It, it's very good, but we need a way of generating blue flies for it to be any use to us. And we, we currently don't have that. And there's very few trinketed ways we can make that happen. Especially, like, without taking damage. There's obviously um, the, the rotting fish head. But you have to take damage for that to uh, take effect. And it only spawns two pair, pair getting hit. Which is very terrible. And that's, that's, that's when it's gold. Look effect a chance to fire a metal tier with eye of the occult effect with increased range and double damage. I like that idea a lot. Yes, we gulped it as well. Those are the sort of ones that I'm always hoping we gulp. Those are the sort of ones that I'm hoping for. Another Reflected there. As I said, Reflected's going to be pretty common. The, the Reflected is actually kind of nice and synergistic as well. Because we have to damage ourselves to use it. Which gives us the chance to proc marbles. So it's kind of like a potentially self-fulfilling prophecy. Of like this loop of potential ways of us getting our trinket smelted. Which is why, as I said, I didn't want to use the actual smelter. Because I think that it just take away from some of the intrigue of this run. Some of the sort of special parts of it wouldn't be so special anymore because we'd just be able to easily smelt them whenever we wanted. Like, we'd just have everything smelted all the time and it wouldn't... There wouldn't be this sort of extra layer to it. This extra layer to the challenge. And I like these challenge runs to be challenging. I know that at some point I need to sort of integrate Darul's. Nice smelt. 50% chance every room for a mom item. Um, I need to implement dev rules, because with dev rules, you can actually make it... It's, it's a mod where you can change game rules. And you can actually make it so that, for example, item rooms actually don't spawn. Nice reflected. Unfortunately, we don't want it. I mean, we can't even get to it anyways. We'll go back over here. We're not really looking for our item room, but as I said, we're trying to clear out as many rooms as we can for the highest chance possible. But these are the sort of interesting sort of challenge runs that I want to be doing more often. So if you guys have suggestions for a run like this, it doesn't have to be trinket specific, but like a sort of somewhat challenging run that's a bit different, that's sort of built around some specific unique modded items especially, I'd be very, very down to uh, to try that out. That's 
One of the focuses for this uh, Isaac series and Enter the Gungeon that I want to make a bit more apparent. Because I think that, for me, it's more interesting to do something a little more different uh, rather than just playing a regular run as I have done th for the past three years every day. Uh, and also, it just allows me to showcase some cool modded stuff, which I think the community appreciates being able to see what's out, what's out there. And the modders appreciate being able to have their work exposed to people when they put a lot of effort in. Um, grants a list of effects. This is more fun. This is more fun than the chalk. We are going to get the funny sounds on occasion. We got ourselves an arcade over here as well. No, no, no. Thank you. Didn't think there was much in there. That is one downside of a challenge like this. There are a lot of rooms, such as item rooms and so on, that don't do a hell of a lot for us anymore. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't get into there with um with Callus, can I? I think Callus is just immunity to spikes. It's not immunity to spike doors. Ow! Oh, I gulped! I gulped! I can go back and grab some extra stuff. Where, where was the other trinkets? Okay, there's one up here. There's one down here. And there's one up here. So we can re-grab chalk, lovely. Yeah, we finally got a gulp going. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. And then we can grab this as well. Nice. Even though the owl feather, very good, but on a on a run where you're only having trinkets, it's not as good. Right. Boss time. I think we're reasonably strong at the moment. Like we're not completely weak. I think this is one that just spawns stuff. Ow. I really didn't expect him to spawn as many maggots as he just did. Luckily, my chalk is doing a good job of keeping him at bay, actually. Should just be standing in the chalk. There's so many maggots! What the hell, dude? Normally, you spawn flies. Where's all the maggots coming from? It's a little bit rude. A little bit rude. And we get Blasting Cap, um, which we do get a gold version of. 30% chance for bombs to not be used. And wait, can we... Oh, okay. So now, our bombs should, in theory, have a 50% chance to not be consumed when using them, which is very, very good. That could give us a lot more to work with in terms of using bombs, which is pretty good, because bombs can be used for combat and stuff. Oh, my God. The sound effects from this, this thing is just silly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, we, um, we've got a turnip that we've apparently just acquired. So there is some downsides to this trinket, as you can see. Also, this is kind of a rough room. Kind of a rough room. I mean, I almost got um, Dingle already. Luckily, we've got this thing on them where we deal more damage to them, but he's also got the same thing on us. Okay. Good, good. Another thing that would be really, really good would be um, AAA battery, so that we can get a three-room charge. Three-room charge on our active would be very, very good for us. Chance to take a random pill when picking up a coin. Seems interesting to me. We gulped it as well. Lovely stuff. Hopefully my gulp look sticks with uh, sticks with how it is, because it's, uh, it's been pretty generous to us thus far. It's been pretty generous to us. Ah. I think I think basically our power scaling is going to be a little bit rough. Like right now we feel pretty strong, but I think in the later game there's a potential chance it feels a lot lot worse than it currently is. And I think we just have to sort of be aware of that and know that once we get to the womb, unless we get some really good trinkets along the way, things things could kind of spiral a little bit. How did you not die to that, my guy? Yeah, things could spiral a little bit. Boom. This is good, because this is uh, extra tears. Ton of extra tears. Both of them didn't smell. So, I think actually, let me just test this. Is it making it more wavy? I think it's making it more wavy, you know. Let's pick up the regular one. Regular one? 
Yeah, I think it's more wavy. But we do get a ton of extra tiers off of the back of this, so very worthwhile, even if uh, our tiers are a little bit harder to hit now. And we will hopefully uh, smelt the two of these at some point. But as you can see, the reflected idea is paying off. The triple, the triple effect trinkets are very, very nice. But on top of that, being able to have two of the same trinket can be very beneficial as well. All stats up prevent stats from being increased while held. That's really tricky because it's good, but not yet. If we'd have got that later, it'd have been great, but we can't take a trinket that prevents all of our stats from going up now, because if it smelts, we're then stuck at those stats for the rest of the run. And I have a feeling there's plenty of items we can get that will give us stats, so I don't want to take that risk yet. I don't want to sacrifice our potential this early. We've also got spectral tiers now, which is pretty nice. All damage taken gets broken hearts instead. That's that's one that we 100% do not want to take. <laughs> I did a test run of this um, of this setup while I was just basically seeing what items to use, and that item was one of my first smelted trinkets from Toy Box. And I started recording, and it literally ruined the run on the first floor. And I was like, okay, well, that's one that we can't have. <laughs> Gonna have to restart the run. Very very heavily heavily limits the marbles potential. <laughs> very very heavily. You come here, you. Also, earlier, like, just a little bit ago, so I went shopping. I did some posh shopping. I went to M&S. My God. It's actually, M&S used to be, like, an absolute sort of meme of, like, you are posh if you shop at M&S, or you are rich if you shop at M&S. But now it's, like, everything costs so much in terms of shopping that M&S isn't really all that expensive anymore. <laughs> like, the prices have gone up a little bit there, but compared to other shops, they've not gone up that much because they were already high. So they've kind of got a bit of an advantage of, like, this extra quality... A uh, nice gulp. Of this extra quality without really that much extra cost. So I went there today, did a bit of posh shopping. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll whack this open, why not? Um, and I got myself a bunch of stuff for tomorrow. Cause I'm ha basically, we're having our friend round tomorrow to um, get inebriated and watch uh, Doctor Who. <laughs> Which we, we just decided would be a fun time. We haven't watched uh, Doctor Who in a really long time, or I haven't at least. I used to watch it as a kid. So we're going to go back to like the Christopher Eccleston and um, and David Tennant era and re-watch a bunch of the old Doctor Whos, um, which is, is going to be fun. Uh, so I bought a bunch of snacks for that and um, some other stuff like lunch and stuff. But then I bought, uh, I saw like there was Hollandaise sauce, and I really, really like Eggs Benedict, but it's a really, really hard thing to make. So I decided to um, try and make it. And, I, like, it, it, it was it was pretty darn good. It was pretty darn good. I tell you what, though, I made an absolute mess of it. So, if you haven't had, um... Ooh, very nice. If you haven't had uh, Eggs Benedict before, basically what it is, is it's an English muffin toasted with bacon or ham hock on top. I did bacon because ham hock's a bit harder to get. Um, and then a poached egg or two, and then hollandaise sauce. But, goddamn... I, I messed it up quite badly. So, hollandaise sauce is pretty fickle. If you get it too hot, it separates and it becomes awful. And I mean, I mean awful. It tastes bad. So, I, I did that once. I put it in the microwave for the recommended time and it split. So, I had to remake it. I, um, while trying to sieve one of the eggs, because you're supposed to sieve all the, like, stringy bits off of the egg white. Uh, I was doing that and I split the yolk. So, I couldn't use that one to perch it. Because if it's split, you can't perch it. Um, so I had to use a different egg. And, while... Uh, toasting my muffin, I was like carrying it over. Um... What's this? Let's have a little look. See, seven eighths chance to gain one random beneficial effect on entering the next floor. Gold one doesn't seem to do anything different. Um... Okay. Hey, looks. So see, we've got a bomb back there. I'm trying some marbles, by the way, right now. I know this seems stupid, but... Oh, this guy does full heart damage. That was a waste. Oh, wait, no. It's just because it's we had those hearts. I forgot about that. Right. I'm going to try and marbles here. Um, I guess I could... Wait. Mm, does that do full heart damage as well? I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's let's go and try to find something to hurt myself on. Um, 
But yeah, uh, so hollandaise sauce is kind of difficult. And I, I toasted the muffin and then I carried it over um, the top of the boiling water that the egg was in. And I dropped the fucking muffin in the egg because it burnt my finger. It's like, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> we don't have a great way to hurt ourselves here, unfortunately. Um, there's like no spikes or anything. And I d even if the spikes, I think we're immune to spikes. So I guess we can bomb ourselves. We kind of need an enemy, really, but there's no enemies. I really, really want to smelt these trinkets so that I can bring those wishing things down with me and see how they work. Because having two of those seems useful. I guess I'll hurt myself on this door first. Damn. Damn you, game. This is this is rough. This is rough stuff. Alright, keep her going. Right. Check out the item room just to see what's in it. If see if there's anything like 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 health or anything like that. I mean, there is money, which I wasn't expecting. There's some damage from reflect stuff. I like that. Okay, a shop. There's a heart in here and a soul heart. There's fires. Good, good. Okay. Come on. Who put out my fires? How dare you? That's what I'm looking for, spiders, baby. Yes! We gulped! It happened. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That took a while. But this this is exactly why I'm not using the smelter. That was so much more interesting and I wouldn't say tense, but like so much more sort of like I had to actually put some thought into it and take some risk rather than just I have this space bar, press space bar. That's not as fun. That's not as fun. We're just using it for the extra trinket drops. That's it. I think that's way more enjoyable. And now we get to carry down both of these stars with us. One of them will probably smell. You watch both of them just smell instantly. Didn't have to fuck around with that at all. They both just smelted straight away. But anyways, we'll see how they work. Seven eighths chance to get a special benefit on the next floor. We gained some damage by the looks of it, and we also got a golden sack here. Now we can use a that that's fine, even though it is items. Hey, at least we get hearts on, on occasion here. Oh, we got Mum's knife. I wonder what was going on there. 50% chance for a Mum item each room. And then here we got... That could be good later on. Could be good later on. We like it. Didn't smell, unfortunately, but we've proven that that doesn't actually matter that much as long as we've got health. Magician. A pop. Magish. Ah, oh, that's a lot of money. Holy hell. Ooh, pills. I kind of forgot that we had that thing where picking up coins gave us pills. Look at all the reflected items. Look at them all, girl. Good, good. What's this white card? I've never seen that before. Domino tile. Rerolls uh, items and pickups on the current floor. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. I like it. Not super useful for this run in particular, but I like it. We got ourselves a golden chest out of it as well. Which gave us some bombs. Don't want to be picking up reflected stuff with this amount of health, really. And we got... Giganta Bean, lovely. No smelt on that though. We got a planetarium there, unfortunately. Not the best for us. Chaos, chaos. It's chaos, chaos, just like 
a ton of different effects. I have no idea. A little bit out of the loop with this trinket that gives us all these random effects. Good, good. Let's go back over to check, check out that secret room. Sadly, items in the secret rooms just aren't good. There's a few items in secret rooms I will take. If I find Arky, I'm of course going to take it. Regardless of the fact that this run isn't a thingy run. Right, it's pills time. Doorstop is pretty decent. We got a smelt as well on it. Lovely. Right, let's go and do the rest of these rooms here. More items await us. Yeah, there are multiple effects. That's what it says. Okay. We just don't really know what they are. It doesn't tell us. We just got to figure it out for press of elimination. I'm hoping we can get more little familiars and stuff so that we can see, um, see thingy in action a bit more. Although we do have duct tape, so our familiars aren't really following around. But extension cord is, is quite strong. Soul heart there, lovely. And we get... Player creep lasts twice as long, enemy creep lasts half as long. That's very good. Oh, God. Didn't see that there. Um, Forgotten Lullaby is kind of like meh. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll check out in here just in case. It's reflected as well. I could play this guy, but what could he really give me? I guess Gigantabean's not exactly the best for us right now. Like We, we don't have any fart effects. I think with that one, I've got to uh, defeat that fly and tell anything. Otherwise, nothing else can die. Look at my wiggly knife. Look at it go. Right. Uh, oh, wait, there's one more room here. Didn't see that. Just trying to think what some other really good trinkets we could get here. Because we've already got very good fire rate and pretty decent damage. Although, I reckon our fire rate and damage are going to sit pretty much where they are. I suppose we could get some other worm trinkets that would increase our fire rate. Um, but damage-wise, there's not many that increase our damage in a meaningful way, so I'm not expecting... I'm not expecting much. We could get Cracked Crown, though. Cracked Crown could be pretty good. That's one I always forget about. When it comes to looking at very good trinkets, Cracked Crown is not one I often think about, but it is very, very good. Never really understood those little enemies there that I just killed them in this little circle with a brain in the middle. They're kind of weird. Dim bulb, potentially pretty good. We get ourselves spicy keys, no thank you, no. Nah. That's pretty good, we'll take that for the next floor. Need more on, uh, on coin pickup effects as well. Stack those high, get loads of them going. That's something that I could do. I, do you know what? I've got, I, I've got an idea for my next run. I've got an idea for my next run. For my next sort of special run, I think I'm going to do a bunch of different coin trinkets, modded and vanilla, like on coin pickup, and then I'm going to go with the sunglasses, um, which is a item that dr drops three of your coins on the floor every room. I think that'd be quite fun. So then there's like all sorts of on coin pickup effects that we could get going on. Um... So, modded, modded on-coin pickup effects, let me know of them. If you have any modded on-coin pickup effects, especially damaging ones, ones ones that are good for combat. Um, I mean, any are good, any suggestions are great, but specifically ones that are going to help in combat would be ideal. Um, lovely stuff. But it could be pretty fun because it places the coins randomly anywhere, so we're going to have to sort of chase the coins around the room. And they fade away over time as well, I believe, so you've got to kind of try and pick them up as quickly as you can. So, like, we've, we've got to have a sort of constant supply of money to be able to do damage. And then that's another one where it's like, do I get rid of item rooms or not? Spawns a throwable knife familiar, removes itself if the knife is used on the all-path wound door. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Hey, we smelted it. Does it still throw? 
it does, okay. And there is two of them. There's definitely two of them. That's actually a pretty a pretty gnarly damage increase, to be honest. The trinkets, them, uh, the, the, the familiars themselves will do good damage. And on top of that, the uh, they will be followed by electricity. Look at all this. All the pills there. I love that. I think we got to tee us up there, because our tears are maxed out now. I like it. Hold up. Where'd my knife go? The knives are gone already. What happened? Did a, pi did a pill somehow remove it? What happened there? I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. Where the hell did it go? Also, this turnip keeps reappearing. What does the turnip do? Is the turnip taking away some of my trinkets? We do have some blue flies somehow. I don't remember how he got those, but it's decent. Spawn a friendly demon baby if you don't have one. The baby can evolve into stronger forms by um, clearing enough rooms with it alive. If it dies, you'll get a new one at the next room. Nice. It smelled it as well. I don't see a demon familiar. Maybe it died straight away, and I've got to clear a room. Yeah, I don't see no demon. Unless it's like underneath me, and duct tape is causing issues. I don't know. Oh wait, no, is, have I got the leech? Is, is, this, is this little dude, the little leech, is that my demon familiar? I think it is. Yeah, I can see him leveling up. Okay, that's interesting. I was expecting to be like, like a classic familiar, not a charmed enemy. Oh, bloody hell. He's doing good damage. He's doing good damage. I wonder what he'll level up into. I'm curious about this little lad now. This is very good. We'll take that. And it smelled it as well. That's a 60% chance, I think it is, to uh, spawn a fire underneath when we kill them. Okay, so it did level up, but it, it just leveled up into two. So, oh no, wait, no, 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 I see, I see. So, we, now we've got two familiars. We've got a big, we got a big old worm. And this guy. I like this a lot. No smelty on that. The player creep one, I think I'm going to get rid of because I'm not really using player creep. Look at this craziness. <laughs> Even blunt, blurt can't stop me now. Oh, I haven't seen Revelation in so long and you give me it now? How dare you? I haven't seen Revelation in so long. Yeah, look, our, our little thingy's back again. Mum's knife. I keep forgetting that I can randomly get Mum's knife. I need to be way more aware of that. It's a little off-putting. I do like having this brimstone guy, I've got to say. I don't know if he's long for this world, though. That is a trinket. Did not gulp. Oh, we got some black hearts in here. I don't mind if I do. Thank you. What the hell's going on in this room? I'm very confused. What enemies are left? Okay, well, there isn't any. I mean, that's... I don't know how that works with duct tape, but I guess we'll see. I don't think it does work with duct tape. I think that's, that's how it works. Okay. Just keep going, because this is getting confusing. Good, good, dude. What the hell? We have a little fallen. He he evolved big style. Unfortunately, a bad room for us here, because 
They're not going to die until we press the buttons. Oh, dude, you respawned while I was walking past you. Is that... Is that how you're choosing to play this? Pretty good. And it gulped as well. More charges, potentially. We like that. I'm getting, like, black hearts a lot, and I don't know why. At this point, I'm just like, yeah, just accept it. It's a good thing. Good Brimstone Fallen. Just Brimstone him. How dare you, buddy? How dare you? Also, we went majorly the wrong way there for a lot of that floor. Also, I just keep getting one makes you larges. What's going on with my size? Oh, no, I think it was just magic mush proccing. That doesn't do anything for us, but we'll see if it smelts. It did. I, of course, the ones that I don't care about are the ones that smelt. Dude, the black hearts are nuts. What's going on? Oh, what the fuck? Um, why is Apollyon with me? Um, hey, Apollyon. How you doing? <laughs> Where did Apollyon come from? Ooh, prevents all curses. Very, very nice. Prevents all curses is very good with me. I think this J is like being exacerbated by having having it be gold, like having it be doubled effect. That's why I'm getting this thing where it just says multiple effects like every room. I think normally it is only one effect. Look at all that fire. Just he's tainted Apollyon now. What's going what's happening? <laughs> I'm very confused. No! My fallen buddy, how dare you? Come on, my little baby tainted Apollyon. I don't know why you're here, but I like having you around. The chalk. The chalk will not let you past. I tried to put a bomb in his mouth, but it just didn't work. Last phase. Come on, I don't know if my little Apollo, I don't know what he is, because he's got like, if you look, he's, when I move, he's got like little um, mini Isaacs with him. So there's something going on with the mini Isaacs being a bit glitchy. He's firing! He's he's shooting though, he's shooting um, locusts. Where did this guy come from? <laughs> I don't know who this is. <laughs> I'm so very confused. <laughs> Does anyone know where this lad came from? Who is he? He's great, but I just... I'm confused as all. Dude, the amount of reflected things is wild. I just got a Telepills, which is really annoying because there's a Joker card right there, and I really wanted to pick it up and use it. I mean, I don't need to, but... You get a Joker card on this floor. It feels like you have to. Hey, stop ignoring me. Come back. Pinworm. That sounds sketchy. Oh god. <laughs> kind of, they, they move like Ipica. There's my little, my little fella. This trinket seems really, really good. One that spawns these demons. Spawns some very, very good, um, enemies, charmed enemies. And they, they grow in power. Just all around seems very, very useful. There's a shop here. What the heck? Spindle. Sadly, not what we need right now. Ah, damn it. You trapped me. It's okay, though. You trapped me on the door, so I can still leave. Shiny Rock, I don't think we're even going to bother taking that. It does nothing for us. A little black heart there. Oop, he's gone up to a little Loki. I walked out of the room, of course. One thing I do not like about um, Door Stop, it's very, very easy to do that. Can't believe we just got like a little Loki just chilling with us. He's evolved once again into Herming Split Loki with electricity between them both. This is wild. Surely he's going to die to the lasers though, the beams. What could he possibly evolve into? After okay, one half of him did die. I think he made the mistake of touching Isaac.
Nice. We got to keep half in. We got a poly on back. He's just chilling. This run has not been what we expected. Right. Straight for the end goal. Wow, these guys are super annoying. Maggie's faith, I mean, very, very good, but completely useless at this stage of the game. Oh, wait, yeah, I've got dot. If I go into a dead end, I've got thingy dot off. Although, I shouldn't be going to any dead ends, because I can see on the map which is a dead end and which isn't, so. Kind of a newbie mistake to make, really. I lost my demon buddy. My little Loki. Super Magnet. Again, not a great one. Not a great one. Although, I do want to see what it does when it's gold. This could be awful, so let's just take them both. They both gulped. I don't know if it's going to have, like, mega power on it now. But, no, it seems to be exactly the same, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping it would just have triple the amount of pull, and it would be impossible. I mean, to be fair, look at those bubbles. Maybe it does have extra pull. My little, my little friends are doing great here. I got another one there, look. With mini Isaac feet for some reason. Completely none the wiser as to why that is. But this just, this just goes to prove how strong trinkets can be. But I think one thing people sort of underestimate, or one thing people think, is people are like, Oh, trinkets, they're not that strong. It's like, you've got to think, though. Trinkets, you can, you're can you only supposed to be able to have one at a time unless you're under certain circumstances. They're, they're designed around being able to hold one at a time, which means that some of them can be pretty powerful. I mean, I think one of the reasons people assume that they're bad or like say that their trinkets aren't great is because there is a lot of trash. Like there's a lot and a lot of trash trinkets. Um, but there's a, there's a lot that are very, very good and pa more powerful than some items by a good, good amount. Oh, hello. Diffuse. Right. Gold this guy up for some reason. Did it? I, did, I think the Midas actually worked on him. I didn't expect it to. Yeah, the Midas seemed to work on him. This guy's going to be the, definitely the hardest fight, which is good because he's the last boss. <laughs> but we don't have a lot to work with on this guy. We do still have our little baby Apollyons, though. They're just chilling. Seems to be doing a fine job, to be honest. Hey, there's our bomb back. Ah! Dude, these bombs back are amazing. I just keep getting back. Right, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Pretty interesting little run here. Something a bit different. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.